So hey guys, just got us in the mail today. I'm very excited about it. This is the Wen Rotary Tool Kit. Got it from Amazon. And this is, the price is really what's gonna blow you away. This cost me $20. $20 with accessories included. So let's get straight into it. This is a corded rotary tool. This is my first rotary tool, so I'm quite excited about it. I do, I do have a drill, but it's not a very good one. All the features. You guys can pause the video and read all that. Here it shows all the accessories. Let's see what the back looks like. Here's what it includes. Here's all the accessories. So yeah, it's really nice. Now this is actually just, the outside is like, it slides off. And inside it reviews a hard plan. Hold on. I'm gonna take it out. And as I was saying, it reveals a hard plastic carrying case inside. Textured for grip and stuff. Anyways, it's pretty nice to protect your tool. Don't want a breaking. Okay, so it opens up like this. On this side, you have your flex shaft attachments. I do not know how that works yet, but I will read the manual. I'll figure it out. Instruction manual. The tool itself. Once again, this is a corded tool, so it is not uh, wireless. There's no battery built in. And your case with all of your accessories. So before we go any farther, we're actually going to take a look at the accessories. All dumped out. You have your sanding pads, polishing pads, and stuff like that. Wait, no. <laughs> These are polishing pads. These are rotary cutting disc thingies. This is, I think, a felt polishing pad. This smaller version. Here are your four sanding tools. Do not know what this is. Seems to be made out of some sort of rubber. Comes with an Allen wrench, except there are no notches on it, so it's just round. I don't know what that's for. Comes with a wrench type thingy. This is, I believe, a drill bit thingy. This is a threader. Sorry, I am not... Sorry, I don't know what some of these are. I don't know what the crap this is. Comes with two drill bits. Feel very cheap and low quality. Feel very brittle. I do not know what this is. Uh, I have no clue what that is. Comes with a whole bunch of these. I think they're polishing or sanding things. And I have no clue what this is. So yeah, that's all the attachments. Now we're actually going to go over how to install the flex shaft. Now, they actually have instructions on how to do it. But they're a bit weird. So I'm just going to teach you now. It's going to be hard to do on camera. First, you're going to unscrew this, the big part, by turning the big part by turning counterclockwise. Come right off. Next, you're going to loosen this. You're going to put this thing in, which comes out of this bit of the flex shaft. You can see. I'm gonna stick this thing in as far as it'll go. Uh, is that supposed to be there? I think it is. Stick that in. And then you're going to hold this button down, which locks 
which locks the uh, the internal mechanism, so that you can then turn this clockwise to tighten it on. And then this should not be going anywhere. Next, slide this over and turn it clockwise to tighten. Well, make sure not to cross thread it. It's difficult to do on camera since it likes to wobble around. Just let that dangle there. So yeah, and you're done. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> Bit hard to do on camera, as I said. And then now you just put your attachments in here. And I believe that's what the Allen, the fake Allen wrench was for. I believe you can actually stick it into this hole. Right here, as you turn it. No? Should be able to. Ah, right there. We will stick it in, so then you can add your attachments in and tighten it, or loosen it. As you can see. So, I'm gonna take this flex shaft off for uh, ease of demonstration purposes, and we are gonna show you how to uh, insert the uh, attachments. To add accessories, simply hold this button down, and screw it. We're just going to use a drill bit for demonstration. Put the drill bit in. Tighten it back up. And then hold this button down once you can't spin anymore and keep tightening. Oh, we didn't put it in far enough. Whoopsies. Make sure the drill bit is all the way in. Huh. Does the drill bit even work in this? That is very interesting. That drill bit will not insert. What about this? This one's. Okay, I'll use the larger drill bit. I'm not sure how to use the smaller drill bit. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, as I was saying, just tighten it on while holding this button down. And yeah, this drill bit works, as you can see. So I'm not sure what the deal is with the other one. Ah, ah, I see. It includes a, a separate... Hold on. Take this off. It includes a separate thingy. One with bigger shaft, one with the smaller shafts. So the other one, you just use the smaller one. But yeah, works perfectly. We're going to keep the bigger one on for now. Screw it back in. And we are going to plug it in and show you how much power this thing has. On and off switch right here. Uh, let me read the manual. Is the on and off switch just like, once you turn it on, it just keeps going or is there a trigger? Yeah, okay. So it's, once it's on, it just keeps going. So there is no trigger, so be careful about that. So don't turn it on if your hand's on it, because there is no safety or trigger. So be very careful when operating this tool. Here you have your speed adjustment. It is variable speed. And let me check the specs here, RPM. I am not sure, to be honest. Does it say the specs? Ah. 8,000 to 30,000 rotations per minute, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, we're actually going to test out a few of the attachments. We're going to plug it in. Alright guys, first test is the drill bit. We're here on max speed, and first material, we're going to try some plastic. This should be very easy for it. <laughs> So as you can see, very easy for it. First time it did not hold onto the plastic, probably should have done that because it's caught onto it. 
But anyways, as you can probably tell, very easy for it to drill through plastic. Used to be an old glasses case, and now everything's over the place. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the next material. Which is this wood. So, it doesn't, like, it's sort of flat, semi-flat. This is way too close to my hand to hold for comfort. So we're gonna hold it with a pair of pliers, see if we can drift around this semi-sloped surface. Once again, speed is on 10 with the drill bit. This is the larger drill bit that I provided. So it certainly was not as easy for it, but it did go through. It actually went through completely. And I have the smell of smoke. I do not- Oh gosh. Ah, I just burned myself. Okay, so the, the smell of smoke, I think, is originating from the drill bit itself. I hope it's not from inside, because that was just some very thin wood. Okay, not exactly thin, but still, it was not, by any means, very tough wood. We're actually going to lower the power to 5 instead of max, because it seems to be actually t putting quite a bit of t um, damage on the tool. I really hope that smoke is not from the motor. <laughs> there is no actually visible smoke, it just smells bad. We're going to move on to another attachment, since the drill bit is clearly a pest. Alright, so I have a cutoff wheel attached. I don't know what material these are made out of. If it's metal, it is the worst metal I've ever seen. It is extremely brittle and cheap. I just snapped one, taking it out of the package. So it can't be very hard, hard or strong metal. So I don't know what, it, what these are really going to cut other than soft woods and plastics. I can't imagine these cutting metal. First, we're just going to test it on. Actually, let's start with the plastic. Here we go. We're on five for speed. Okay. So these do just fine with plastics, which is no surprise since it's very soft. Now we're gonna try some from, on some wood. So it does fairly good against wood. Oh, you can really smell the smoke now. So I don't know if that's- Jesus Christ. I don't know if that smells coming from the wood? Because of the friction? I hope it is, because it smells terrible. really hope this is not the motor. I'm just gonna skip the wood because of how bad the smell is, but it did cut through. Oh jeez. I should probably do this outside next time, see how bad it smells. Now we're just gonna do it- do a steel rod. This is like four millimeters, I think. Oh, there are sparks. Okay. I should have known there were sparks, so let's do it from the other side. Okay, so it can cut through. I'm not gonna cut all the way through for. Saving time and the bad smell. Ooh, the metal is very hot. But it can cut through. I'm almost all the way through. So these are actually a bit b better than I thought. Still smells really, really bad. And I'm starting to think that may actually be the tool itself. Although it doesn't seem to be heating up too much, so that's good. Alright, so now we are actually going to test the sanding drum. Against some wood. Hold on, I still gotta tighten it. I'm not too sure if I attached it correctly. It seems awfully loose over this rubber thingy. Whatever. Okay, 
Okay, so it definitely can sand. Has made some pretty nice deep grooves. So I'm gonna give that a pass. And now for the last tool, even though there are still many other attachments I have not tested, this will be the last because I don't want the, dra uh, the video to drag on. And the rest are sort of hard to demonstrate. Here's the diamond encrusted, what they call it? Like a grinding thing? I don't even know. Anyways, it's meant for like cutting and grinding and stuff, I th believe. They have a full list of accessories and how to use them. Although the instructions are not very detailed. Tighten this on. Okay, I was gonna test it against some wood. Speed is still at five. Battery is about to die here. Alright, so I have some good news. Good news is that the smell is definitely coming from the wood. It almost caught fire there, it was smoking. From all the friction. It is hot to the touch. Tool. Well, the actual accessory itself, not the tool. And it has become blackened. <laughs> but anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. Overall, I think this is a very, very good tool, especially for only 20 bucks. It has plenty of power to do all your everyday tasks. The accessories may be slightly low quality, but those can be replaced. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on another video.